Hi, I'm Roy Grimes, president of the National Archery in the Schools program. This draw weight indicator gauge that uh, Morel Manufacturing built, we believe is very useful, especially for the teacher presenting NASP lessons in the schoolroom with lots of bows and lots of different kids trying to pick out which bow is most comfortable to them. We are in complete support of this. It's allowed in the program. It's even allowed to be on the bows during one of our tournaments. Hi everybody, my name is Tim Thomas. I'm with Archers USA. And today I'm excited to show you a new product we came up with that's gonna make your life a lot easier if you're a coach, and gonna make your arrow flight and your accuracy a lot better if you're an archer. And what this little gadget does for you is it counts your limb bolt turns. So for you as a coach, you know how it is. You're turning the limb bolts up, you're counting them back down, the wrench slips, you forget where you are, you're constantly turning limb bolts up and down. Now, you won't ever have to do that again. You're gonna know exactly where the position of that limb bolt was. This little gadget here just counts those turns for you. It's numbered, you know exactly how many turns you're backed off. And for your archer, they know exactly where they were the day before and what their poundage was when they're shooting. So they will be more consistent because it won't vary from day to day. We're gonna show you exactly how this little limb bolt gauge works how the pointer moves, we're gonna show you how that affects your knock travel, we're gonna show you how that affects the tip of your arrow and your point of aim on the target and your arrow flight today. Okay, so this is our poundage gauge. This is the product that we're really excited to show you. And you can see it's numbered six through zero with a little orange indicator there. What that indicator does is as you turn this limb bolt a turn, that indicator is gonna to move to another number. So it's basically counting your limb bolt turn. So there's no more guesswork anymore to use a coach. When you pick up a bow, you're gonna know exactly where it's set. You're going to know when you turn this which number it was on and that student's going to know that that number is exactly where he was shooting the day before or in the past. Okay, so this is your knocking point where you are knocking. You can tell we got a little gauge affixed to the bow. What we're going to show you here today is that the knocking point, if your limb bolts aren't exactly equal, is going to move. So there's a recommended knocking point on the bow when you set a bow up and get it ready to shoot. If you don't keep your limb bolts equal as you turn it out, that point is going to move up and down from where it should be, which is going to cause bad arrow flight. Basically, as you take a turn off of this limb bolt, this knocking indicator is going to move, which is going to put your arrow knock point in a not the correct location for proper arrow flight. All right, we're going to attempt to show you that if your limb bolts aren't equal, how your point of aim is going to change on the target. Now that we have the bow braced as best we can, we're going to try to show you how dramatic the movement is in your uh, tip of your arrow at 10 meters. So we have attached this laser pointer to it. We're going to move the limb bolt on the top one turn to show you how dramatic it is it to take one turn out of one limb bolt and have your limbs unequal. So as you can see, the laser pointer moves out of the 10 ring all the way up into the 7 ring by just having one turn taken out of one of your limb bolts. So if they're not equal, it's really important to your point of aim on the target. To show this is true on all bows, in this demonstration, we will use a different bow with one turn removed from the top limb bolt and a lighted knock in the arrow. Notice the downward travel of the knock and the inconsistent arrow flight. The inconsistent arrow flight will show up as long tears in the paper of your target and it may cost you points off your score.